Okay, so when we look at this, the fraction is what? How do we say this fraction? Tell me the word form. Everybody should have written it. Ada. So you should have written seven tenths. And then some of us got confused because the grid here is how many equal parts? How many? 100. And you're supposed to shade in 10 tenths. And some of you shaded in this, which is not 7 tenths. That is seven hundredths, okay? Now, it is divided into a hundred equal parts. Guys, you gotta stay with me. But these are columns and there are 10 columns. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there are eight, nine, 10 columns. So the columns give you your tenths. Another thing that you could have done is converted this. Seven tenths is how many hundredths? Seventy. Ten times ten is one hundred. Seven times ten is seventy. Seventy hundredths. So then you needed to shade in seventy of these. Or seven tens. And each column has ten in it. How do we write that as a decimal? How do I write seven tenths as a decimal, Derek? Zero decimal point seven. Seven tenths, it ends in the tenths place. Okay, this one, how do we say this number? How do we say this number, Gage? 38 hundredths. So again, each of these columns is 10. So we shade in this 10, then 20, then 30, and then eight. So all but two in the next column. How do you write that as a fraction? How do you write 38 hundredths as a fraction? Quentin? 38, 38 over 100. 38 over 100, yes. Um, are we but you can use it to practice any night and you can go back and rewatch these videos, which is, I mean, a great time. Just get your popcorn, a soda, turn on Mrs. Smith's YouTube channel. You could, I mean, literally, there is enough videos. You could keep yourself busy all night. Oh, you're not gonna sleep.